What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And today I want to talk about the score streak system and how I'm pretty much with the rest of the community wanting the old score streak system back. Now the new score streak system, don't get me wrong, it's not absolutely awful. It's just not, there's just a lot of things I don't really like about it. Uh, the first thing is, if you're going on a long kill streak and past Call of Duty titles, you're getting 10, 11, 12 kills before you die. You know, you're going for dogs, chopper gunners, AC-130s, whatever the case may be. It felt very rewarding. In this game, during the Alpha, I got a lot of chopper gunners. I wouldn't say I got one every single game, but I could get them pretty consistently. And it just did not feel as rewarding as past titles were. You know, I was trying to go on these long kill streaks. I felt like I accomplished something because, you know, I went on a 10, 11, 12, 13 plus kill streak and had not died and got some of these bigger streaks in game. This game is not really like that. Um, this game bases it on a multiplier. So if you get at least five kills before you die and you continue to go on that streak, so you're six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're gonna see a multiplier go towards those kill streaks. So you're gonna see the bar on the kill streak start to fill up a little bit faster, a little bit more. And it's just really basing it off how many kills that you have, you know, in one life without dying. Where that is kind of like the old system used to be, as you can hear my uh, new dog in the background trying to help me out with commentary. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. But um, it just does not feel as rewarding, even though it's kind of the same system. You know, and I understand that they're trying to let players that may not be as good get some of these lower uh, kind of kill streaks. But if you're still a good player, you're still going to be able to rack up seven, eight kills most lives, you know, most games, you know, just time and time again before you die. And you're still going to be able to get these chopper gunners consistently, these grenade launchers consistently, whatever else, maybe some higher tier, uh, tier kill streaks once the game is released. And I just do not feel like that is rewarding. And I also feel like that it's going to cause players to start to camp. Once people understand that uh, if I go on a longer kill streak and I don't die, you know, just two or three kills, then die, two or three kills, then die. If I start going, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus kills before I die. I'm going to be able to get these chopper gunners game in and game out. And I'm afraid that's going to slow down the pace. And that's one thing I've always liked about Treyarch games. The pace has always been a bit quicker than other Call of Duty titles. I feel like once people start to realize that's how you do it, the games are going to slow down. Whether it be combined arms, team deathmatch, no matter what the case be, uh, may be. Uh, combined arms has some massive maps. 12v12, if it slows down too much, it's going to be pretty much a bore. Uh, maps like Miami on 6v6. If there's someone getting close to the chopper gunner, they're on like a 15 kill streak. They know I don't need to die. I just need to keep this kill streak going. They're not going to come out and just start, you know, pushing people and being aggressive. They're going to kind of, kind of just hang back, camp, patrol an area. And I understand I can't really blame them. You're going to get a kill, big kill streak. So why would you? But I also feel like it's going to hurt objective play. I feel like if someone's getting close to some of these, uh, you know, some of these bigger kill streaks, they're not going to go out and hop on B flag playing Dom if you need them. You know, if it's a close game. They're not going to go out and hop on a hard point if you need them for a close game. They're going to sit back and get their kill streaks, And that's just how people are going to play. And I understand that's how people are going to play. And to me, it's kind of frustrating that the game is going to come to that is what kind of worries me uh, once it's released and people have been playing for a while. Uh, you may even start to see it in the beta. Who knows? But just overall, I'm a big fan of the old score streak system. I feel like if you're going to get a chopper gunner, you should have to get 13 or 14 kills without dying, you know, in one life. Instead of getting, you know, six or seven kills here uh, before dying, five or six kills there before dying, you know, maybe another eight kill streak before dying, and then you get it. To me, it just does not feel as rewarding, and I, I think it's going to really slow down gameplay once everyone figures out how the, how, how the whole system kind of works. Even though... Treyarch talked about, uh, Tony Flame even talked about, uh, you know, their whole score streak system is going to be based off skills and, or kills, excuse me, and um, playing the objective. I really did not notice in the alpha that the objective was helping my score streak, you know, bar fill up. The way I noticed that that score streak bar was filling up was getting consistent kills over and over in one life without dying. So leave me a comment. Do you guys like the new score streak system? Would you prefer to see the old uh, score streak system? And just because, you know, th this system is implemented in the game does not mean it could not see changes. It also does not mean everyone in game is going to get chopper gunners every time. You could have a, a really good game and go like 30 and 10, but still not be on those long, you know, kill streaks per life, uh, you know, where you're getting, you know, that multiplier to add up to these bigger score streaks. I I'm just curious what everyone in the community kind of thinks. You know, you read a lot of stuff on Reddit. You read a lot of posts on Twitter. But, you know, everyone that watches the videos here on the channel, I'm kind of curious what you guys would like to see. So leave me a comment with those thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. 
If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.